This tutorial is designed to show you how to use Wimba Voice authoring tools in Blackboard 9. What we'll first do is we'll go into Blackboard and look at what mashups are, and then we'll do a recording using the authoring tool. So what we need to first do is go into one of our Blackboard courses, and we come in during at the announcements page, and what we want to do is go to an assignments or course documents in one of our content areas. And when we do that and we pass over the build content, we'll notice that there's a bunch of mashups and we can add YouTube videos or NBC content, but what we're going to focus on today in this tutorial is Wimba authoring. So when we click on that, oftentimes it's going to ask, if it's the first time you've loaded it, it's going to ask you if you want to load this Applet, and you have to click allow. And so I've already done that, and so what I need to do is I need to give this in a t a, some title, and this might be a description of an assignment, and maybe assignment one. And then what I can do is I can change volumes by clicking here, or I can also change the audio input. So if I have a microphone that I've plugged in or something like that, it would show up here. I don't, so I'm just going to use my laptop's microphone. And then what I need to do is click record. I click this record button and you can see that it's starting to pick up my voice and it's counting down. And I have a 20 minute limit on this. I can pause it if I'd like and then I can hit pause again to restart the recording but when I'm done all I have to do is hit stop. And you can play it back right here. Um, I'll play it back once we submit this but there are two ways you can have students view this is a thumbnail. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and the thumbnail is kind of nice because it pops up when you click it or you can embed this this little appellette right here into the page. I'm going to keep it as a thumbnail. Now I can choose to put date restrictions if I'd like. I'm just going to hit submit. And you'll notice that I have this play button now. And when I click on it, it'll load this it's up in a new record. window. I click this record button and you, and you can see it's it's my voice in the recording. Then you can X out to be done. So that is how you use Wimba Voice authoring in Blackboard 9. Thanks for watching.